Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Last video, we went over the very basics and getting started. Today we will be getting into making some of our very own boards. Let's first begin with getting a bit familiar with the home page. On the left you will see a list with boards, templates, home, and teams. Clicking boards will bring you back to your boards home page. Templates shows the wide range of boards Trello has to offer. People have created a lot of amazing boards here and have shared these with other Trello users. This can be a fantastic way to get a head start on your very own customized board. We will dive into this deeper in a later video. Home brings you back to the home page. Under this is Teams. Here you can create your own teams. If you have a diverse range of roles in your business, you can section them into separate teams. You can click your team, which is your username you log in with. Click the drop down arrow. Here are more options for you. We will go over all of these more in depth when we start adding multiple boards and cards. Next, let's start creating a board. There are a few ways to do this. You can click on boards, navigate down, and click where it says create a new board or you can click the plus button on the top right section of the page and also under your team name create new board here. I prefer to use the plus option. Click plus and create a board. Here you can select your board title. Change the background as shown by these squares. You can click the three dots and load more photos and colors. Let's select this background here. Add a title you see fit for the board you're creating. I will just add the title daily tasks for now on our very first basic board. Let this load. And awesome, your first board has been created. Let's briefly go over these buttons on this screen. Click board on the top left of the screen just under the header menu. When you click board, you'll be shown a different drop down menu. Here it shows timeline, table, calendar, dashboard, and map. This is offered to business class users. We will be going over this later on. Next to where it says boards, you will see your board title. Next to the title, you will see a star icon. This will make this board appear at the top of all the boards that you have created. Next to this, this will be the team that is associated with this board. When clicking the team option, you have the ability to change the team that this board is registered to. Next you'll see Team Visible. You can choose the option if you want to display on Team Only, Private, or Public. Most boards that I create are in Team. If you wish to share some of your boards, you can click on the Public option. Next you'll see a small circle icon. This is your profile. Next to this is the Invite button. You can click this to start inviting other people to your board. On the far right you'll see Butler. This is an amazing feature which allows you to automate basic tasks. This saves a ton of time on large projects. We will have quite a few videos on this topic later. Menu is next to this. Menu has a bunch of different options we will explore further, including board description, changing background cards, stickers, power-ups, and more. Go to the left side of this board and click Add a List. Here you can enter your list title. Let's add Task to Do. This will be for tasks that we are currently planning. Add another list called In Progress, and add another list called Completed. We have now set up a very basic board of our own. In the next video, we will be going over adding cards to these lists, going through specific functions of cards, like adding due dates, checklists, labels, and more. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.